Ugh. How did you get there? Good morning, Denial residents. There is no news today, but I did find something very important to me that I had lost. An old sock. Uh, I'd been missing it for quite a while. The mate got a little lonely. Uh, yeah, I, I, I keep busy on this island in paradise. We do a lot here. What is your job? All right, leader Tom Nook says to get more involved in the community. So let's see. Hit five rocks, talk to five villagers, gardening. I haven't done anything in gardening. Let's do that. Ha. Ah. Nope. Ah. Nope, one more time. Ah. All right, let's do some go- Oh. Okay. This is my life now. This is my life now. Thanks. You're such a dear. crafting table. <sighs> wow, I could use some help with gardening. It looks like you could use some help with gardening. Yeah, I just said that. Oh, come on, friend. Come with me. I can help you. Done! You came to the right place. We're gonna go for a ride. <laughs> now here on Den Isle, there is a perfectly simple system you follow in order to breed flowers. Flowers from seed bags always have the same genes, so these are vital for being able to predict what offspring you're gonna get. For most effective breeding, place your flowers in a diamond layout, like so. Make sure to water them every day. A flower won't breed unless it's sparkling. The color of your flowers will determine the color of your offspring for the most part. So for example, a red rose and a red rose will give you a red rose. But there are also hybrid colors. Colors of flowers that you can't normally buy from Nook's Cranny or from yours truly. Different color combinations have a chance to yield differently colored hybrid flowers. So going back to our first example, while red and red will most likely yield red, it may also yield black roses or pink roses. Make sense? Maybe? So like red and white, for example, that could make pink, and red and yellow makes orange, and white and white makes purple. But different flower types will yield different hybrid combinations. So like for tulips, for example, red and white will yield pink more than their original colors themselves. <laughs> Funny enough, red and red will not yield pink. 
only black and red with two oranges together and you get 6% white, 13% yellow, 25% orange, 13% black, and 6% purple, got it? That's not even 100%. Okay, great. But then there's advanced hybridization that tracks the genealogy of multiple generations of flowers. For species with fewer than four genes, the higher bits are simply always set to zero, and only the lower gene pairs are used. So for example, when you bred, each parent passes on one random allele from each gene, and then they're combined together to make the offspring's genes. For example, if you breed two 11000001 red roses together, the offspring can be any of the following. 11000000011000011. Red, red, blue, blue, yellow, yellow, orange, orange, purple, white, black, green, yellow, green, pink, red, purple. What? If a flower has a 1 allele and a 0 allele gene, that gene's value in the flag is always stored as 0, 1. Not 1, 0, not 0, 3, not 0, 2, 0, 1. It's also possible for flowers to asexually reproduce under certain specific conditions. Instead of crossbreeding with another flower, this produces an offspring with the same genes as the pair and essentially just duplicating slash cloning the flower. Now, another thing to remember is that certain areas of the game code also right, process stop. genes. Go back! <sighs> Alright. Thank you? Really appreciate it. I'm gonna go. Thank you for your time. Hey man, if you pull any weeds, I'm paying double for them. Well, I get to screw over Tom Nook. And I get paid. I'm in. Right on, man. All right, one, one, zero, zero, one, alleles. Whatever. I'm just gonna garden. Ugh. Dig it! Gardening sucks! Hi everyone, Isabel here. Please make sure to support us on Patreon. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends, check out CJ's videos, check out Flick's models, go to the museum, Enjoy your life. See you later.